After that there is a title one week later, there is a city in title New York we see Madison Russell which is coming back from school, she is getting in a quite rich house, then we see Mark Russell and Dr. Chen who got married and they live together, there was Dr. Chen doing his houseworks, Madison had a depression after everything she saw one year ago and she sat on the sofa to watch some TV, then Mark Russell came from kitchen and sat next to her, he was about to say something when phone called him, Mark got up to answer and it was Sam, yeah Sam Coleman. He called Mark and told him that they needed him and Dr. Chen in the castle bravo, Mark said okay, and then he sat next Madison again and he told her, I'm sorry, I've to leave, babysitter will take care of you, Madison stared at him for 5 seconds and then she just hugged him, then Mark told Dr. Chen and they left, soon they got visited by Osprey helicopter and they flew away, in Osprey there was a silence till Mark asked, why did you need us? Then Sam answered, we have new technology that America gave us and we want you two to test it. Mark asked what was that and Sam answered that it was some kind of a cannon with powerful shot and we were curious about it and we wanted you to check it. Mark asked, so that's why you made me come here? Far away from my daughter? He started shouting. Then Dr. Chen was trying to calm him down. Then pilot said that they were here. Dr. Dot Chen decided to take a look to Castle Bravo. It was more modern like based than it was in 2019, it was more huge and more safe, then Chen asked, how could you? Then Sam answered, we were still building this in 2019. Don't you remember? Chen answered, yeah but I didn't expect this this far, then Osprey went into the base and landed, they took Mark and Chen to check a new cannon, a shooting cannon, after that they should have met in a meeting center, while going to a meeting center Mark saw a giant axe which was still getting built, and he asked. What is this? Sam answered, it's an axe, we are planning to make Mecha Titan for some situations that we won't be able to control. Mark looked back at axe and continued walking, when they met in the discussion center, Mark was angry, he was asking why they brought him there, he knew that they would not bring him just because of a cannon, then Canolan. Admiral of a G team answered, we see Godzilla moving around one island only, where we are having an outpost. He is surrounding the island from 200 kilometers and he is swimming around it all the time, we wanted you to come and find out what's happening. Mark said, show me the photos. They showed photos on monitors and Mark said. Maybe because Godzilla is afraid that this titan which is on the island, is up to do something. They agreed, then one of the man from the monarch came out, he was new buddy, let's call him David, he said that they should have gone there, Mark asked him, who are you? David introduced himself and he advised them again to have gone on Skull Island and have found out what was happening, then they told Mark that he lost his father. Mark got a bit sad. Then we are seeing Eastley tomorrow where seems Volcano and Rodden's wing, Rodden is sleeping there, after that we get to see a destroyed village, after a few seconds there is arriving a NASA spaceship like airship, which has logo on it. And there is written and Kaelgon, village was destroyed over an year ago so there were some lizards living there. When airship landed at the road of the village, every lizard ran. We see evil person coming down from the ship. Later there seems two twin girls with him, like Gamora and Nebula, then one of the Ikeogon's soldier calls this old person. Mr. Conrad. Is this that place you told us? Then Conrad, from Kong Skull Island, which was pretty old answered, yes. That is it. Then we see a shot of twins one of them is Isa Gonzalez, then one fat doctor is coming down from the ship. Who was always complaining, then in front of them we see an entrance of underground bunker, they go towards it and we see the door opening. And here comes Alan Jonah with some of the mans from the bunker, Alan and Conrad hugged each other and Alan invited them inside, they got inside and they went towards one room, they opened the door and they showed them Ghidorah's head, after enjoying some tea Conrad told them that they wanted to take it, then one man said that it'd be $13,000. Then Ankelgon guys showed up their guns, and they made them to have given Ghidorah's head for free. They took Ghidorah's head outside with a truck. Then Ankelgon boys somehow attached Ghidorah's head on airship with some really big ropes, they got in the airship. Alan Jonah followed them too, they lifted of and left. Before lifting of airship made some crazy noises, Rodden woke up and he saw a giant airship which was taking Ghidorah's head, Rodden got shocked, he remembered everything what happened one year ago 
and he didn't want anything like that to happen again. He got angry, he was more burning than he was one year ago. He stood up and slowly started flying towards the airship. Ankelgon saw him and they started flying fast. Rodin chased them. The spaceship was flying above the sea and Rodin was right behind it. They turned their max speed but Rodin was still chasing it. They started shooting rockets from special weapons that were on spaceship, but it didn't even affect Rodin. Rodin was about to get them when one soldier told Conrad they should have turned to the right because there was a village, another village not Isla de Mara, and Rodin wouldn't want to destroy the village cause of Godzilla, so they turned to the right and got near to the village. Rodin noticed the village and he flew up so his wind force wouldn't burn the village to the ground. Rodin was chasing them from above the village was not big so they flew out soon. Rodin started coming down, then they turned the spaceship to mountains. There were too many mountains and Rodin was chasing them anyway. Then ship turned back and flew right under Rodin. Rodin tried to turn back but he crashed to one of the mountains and he got knocked out. When they finally got out from there they continued flying and they disappeared soon. After few hours we are seeing city Tokyo and a bit far from there there is one laboratory which is called Divinesco. They were helping Ankelgon. Tokyo police had a doubt about this place but when they checked this place, there was too much money paid for it so they didn't shut it down. They brought Ghidorah's head there. Alan Jonah came down and the scientists hugged him. Looks like they knew him before. They gave Ghidorah's head to them and soon they made the head empty from blood. They distributed blood in two different containers. The most amazing part is that the blood was still lighting. After that Alan Jonah made the Ankelgon to have brought the ships cause they were going on Skull Island. After that there seems a ship which is going in the ocean. We see Alan Jonah which is explaining soldiers that they should get Ghidorah's blood and Khan's blood. Why? Because they wanted Titans to control over the Earth and Godzilla wasn't allowing them and he was keeping them away. So they would have made Khan stronger. Khan would kill Godzilla. Then one of the soldiers shouted, OK Khan killed Godzilla what then? Do we have a guarantee that he will let Titans do whatever they want? Alan Jonah answered. No. And that's why we kept another half of blood in laboratory. We will make something that will kill Kong. What will it be? Asked soldier. Alan Jonah answered. You'll see. Then another soldier shouted who was that Kong and why he was more important than other Titans. Then James Conrad joined the conversation and he said that he would tell them everything he started telling legend about Kong. And we see a Skull Island, there was a sunset and there was chaos on Skull Island, two gorillas were fighting with many lizards, they were male and female and the female gorilla was pregnant, they were fighting so bloody, and they felt that they were going out of a power, male gorilla signed female that he would take care of the lizards, and there was the Kong born, mother gorilla took him while father gorilla was protecting them, mother gorilla hid Kong in a small cave where he'd be safe, the gorillas killed all the lizards, I mean skull claws, but they were damaged so much and they were going out of the blood, they were dying when small Khan came out, they died soon. And all Khan could do is to roar and cry, small Khan roared loudest he could and we get back to the soldiers, some of them were even crying, then Alan Jonah who had no emotion said, ok get ready, we are almost there. Then we see helicopters which are holding a cannon in which was Ghidorah's blood. They put Ghidorah's blood in the cannon because they should have shot that to Kong. They soon flew up and started flying towards the island. They soon got into the storm. But they came out too fast without any big trouble. They arrived on the island. They put their cannon on the ground, which was pretty big. Kong wasn't seeming yet and soldiers knew that he wouldn't appear. So they started burning up forests to have made Kong to appear. Kong noticed them soon and he went towards the burning forest and he was trying to stop the fire. Then cannon shot at Kong, and Kong got grounded. They started leaving the island when Kong got up. First it seemed that this shot didn't have any effect on Kong, but then Kong charged and he was feeling super cool, he was feeling like he was reborn. Helicopters were leaving already when Kong looked at them. Then Kong looked at the burning forest, and he realized that humans burnt almost half of the forest, he got so angry and he decided to take revenge on humans, he didn't know any organizations or anything, he just wanted to kill some people, he went towards the beach and jumped in sea, and he started swimming towards the nearest island. After he jumped in a sea, we see a ground shaking like something was coming from there. Kong was swimming fast as hell, that's because of he was charged in lighting. After an hour of swimming we see him going to other island and there we see a title, Gisborne, New Zealand. 